We will continue with Allahumma <coughs> salli ala Muhammad Tafsir We reached yesterday after Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala described the what is waiting for the unbelievers and he also just started describing the what is waiting for the believers and those who have got consciousness muttaqeen um, this is in the first surah of juz amma the third juz we are in verse inna lil muttaqina mafaza so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says for those who acknowledge allah believe in allah worship allah they have attain the greater success in Akhirah. Now don't measure success by dunya success. Dunya success Allah gives to believers and unbelievers. Even He may give to those who don't believe in Him sometimes more as we are witnessing today. The Western first world <coughs> Allahumma salli ala Muhammad they hoovered all the material uh, favors from the rest of the world and one person here may have the wealth of an entire country in the third world not even that entire continent sometimes they are talking in the hundreds of billions sometimes uh, half a trillion and yeah, ridiculous amounts of wealth for people who don't even you talk to them some of them say we don't believe in there's a, a designer we don't believe there's a lord over us uh, they believe in evolution all kinds of nonsense and he they asked uh, a shepherd what is the proof of uh, how, why do you believe in uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's creation? He says, he says uh, according to his understanding, from his experience in life, he says, al tadullu ala al Means, if you are walking and you see, Azzakumullah, uh, the uh, dirtiness from a camel, when the camel leaves dirtiness on the, you know that a camel has passed. If you see the goat, Dirtiness, you say, you know that a, a goat has passed here. And he said, all these vast uh, heavens and earths and mountains and fija and so forth, is this is not enough for you to know that there is a designer, there is a creator? So, bil fitra. This is a person, a shepherd, never been to a university or a school. But unfortunately now the professors and educators and influencers and people may have all kinds of wealth, but they don't have belief. So the wealth and success of dunya has nothing to do with the big picture, has nothing to do with the great success that Allah is talking about here. Inna lil muttaqina mafaza. That on that day, when all are gathered, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and everyone knows and sees the reality, and everyone knows and, and sees that the prophets of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala were truthful, and were advising us truthfully. On that day, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brings forth everybody, everyone will know who is the true successor, who is the true successful person. Who are those who have attained the greatest success? The muttaqin, those who believed. So what do they have in heaven? Hada'iq, endless gardens. Hada'iq wa a'naba wa kawa'i wa atraba. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, there is no reference for the angelic realm. So he gives us from what we deem, what we know of the lights of the world, gardens, young maidens, um, easy attainable pleasures, you know, 
your cups are at that time when you're drinking uh, are always filled. Yani they're, they're, you won't have to wait for the saqi for those who to come and, and fill your cup. Uh, that uh, the fruits are hanging close near to you. You want something, it comes to you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala la yisma'una. Even that, there is no nonsense. La yisma'una fiha laghwan wa la kithaba. There is no lies. There is no fake news. There is no backbiting. None of that nonsense of the world that we live will be in heaven. Jaza'an min rabbika ata'an hisaba. This is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's grants and rewards for his believing servants. At that, on that day, no one will dare to speak in the presence of Allah. No one has the ability to run their mouth at that time as they like. No one can speak. He wants to speak. And that is the only one who will stand in the presence of Allah on that day and make intercession is Sayyidina wa Nabina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He will be the only one given, given that uh, decree and given status and given that honor to be in front of all humanity with all even the honored prophets and believers and Allah subhanahu no one will dare to say anything in the presence of Allah except Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu will stand in his presence and make intercession. <coughs> because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, no one can intercede in his presence except with his permission. So that permission that day is for Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu Even the angels, يَوْمَ يَقُومُ الرُّوحُ وَالْمَلَائِكَةُ صَفَّ Even the, the spirit, the angels, all of Allah's honor and creation will be standing in lines in Allah's presence on that day. لا يتكلمون No one will say anything. إِلَّا مَنْ أَذِنَ لَهُ الرحمن, Except one who Allah gave him permission and that's Sayyidina Muhammad صلى الله عليه وقال hmm. صواب the one who Allah may give permission is the one who speaks truth ذلك اليوم الحق that is the day, that is the true day. That is the day that this surah started. What are they talking about? What are they denying? The day that they are denying that will happen. Allah says, That is the true day. Whoever wants, you have the power to choose, to seek, to go to your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala to return to him subhanahu wa ta'ala choose to be a, a servant yani a good servant choose to believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and then uh, the, the surah goes, Inna andarnakum adhaban qareeba. Verily, we have warned you of. Don't think it's too far, this punishment we are talk, talking about. This judgment we are talking about is very near. Yawma yanzurul mar'u ma qaddamat yada. That day when a person will see what his, the work of his hands, the deeds he had done, ma qaddamat yada, means what? His, the labor of his hand, of his life. And they will see, on that day, you will see everything you did. 
And on that day, when, like like we said, when there's no way no way to deny the reality at that time, and the unbelievers they see what is waiting for them at that time, they will wish al kafiru ya laytani kuntu turaba. Oh my Lord, I wish I was dust. I wish I was animals because animals kingdom will be called. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in his justice, even any animal that wronged any animal will be uh, given justice. Uh, Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, even uh, a, uh, a goat whose horn was broken by another goat, Allah will bring them and will judge between them. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will, will, once judgment is done, he, they will turn into so the unbelievers at that time wish they, that they were like this. They wish that they were just like uh, animals and that they will disappear and become dust. Ya laytani kuntu turaba. So this is the first surah. Uh, Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad in juz amma that we did. If you want to see, if you didn't the previous two days, we uh, we started with uh, this tafsir. You can go back and uh, watch uh, the uh, sohbah, inshallah. And we will start uh, with tafsir of Surah Al-Nazi'at, um, which is chapter 79. And this surah also was revealed in Mecca. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Wal-Nazi'ati gharqa. والناشطات نشطا والسابحات سبحا فالسابقات سبقا فالمدبرات أمرا يوم ترجف الرادفة تتبعها الرادفة قلوب يومئذ وادفة أبصارها خاشعة يقولون إنا لمردودون في الحافرة إذا كنا عظاما نخرة قالوا كرة خاسرة فإنما هي زجرة واحدة فإذا هم بالساهرة والنازعات غرقا It is uh, in Tafsir ibn Kathir says these are the angels who remove the souls from the children of Adam So when at the time of death they are the ones that take the souls <coughs> Amongst these uh, angels some are they 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 take the souls with violence with harshness uh, the similitude of that is if you imagine um, imagine uh, wool with uh, thorns with plants that have thorns stuck in it and you pull it in the wool it is the example of that of how people uh, people who are Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not pleased with at that time there are angels that pull their soul like this وَالنَّازِعَاتِ غَرْقَ وَالنَّاشِطَاتِ نَشْطَ and the other angels uh, that take the uh, souls very gently from the believers وَالسَّابِحَاتِ سَبْحَ and those who are uh, Ibn Mas'ud said that they are the angels uh, they are also the angels وَالسَّابِحَاتِ سَبْحَ and by the swimmers swimming فَالسَّابِقَاتِ um, سَبْقَ and by the racers racing so also, it has been narrated by Sayyidina Ali Masruq and Mujahid that this means the angels as well. So these are different types of angels that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is swearing by. And the last, last group of angels, فَالْمُدَبِّرَاتِ Amara, And the, those who are arrange the affairs of creation. فَالْمُدَبِّرَاتِ Amara, They control the affairs from the heaven to the earth. Uh, this surah also is talking about things unseen. 
It talks about starts with talking about the angels, then it starts talking about the day when this whole world will be shook. Inshallah, we're running out of time. Tomorrow we'll continue with Surah An Naziat. We hope to finish by the end of the month, if possible. I am uh, only basing this Sayyidina Ibn Kathir, uh, Mukhtasar. This is not my own opinion. Uh, whatever inspired uh, that we heard from our Mashaykh on top of that, we may share. But uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us success. Al Fatiha. Barakallah fikum, Sister Nasreen. Inshallah, Fatiha. Anyone who is asking for dua for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala granting you what is good for you in this world and, and the next. And remember also at the time of iftar, uh, Allah is granting each fasting person uh, a dua to be accepted. So don't waste it and use it inshallah. Hurmat al-Habib, Hurmat al-Fatiha. Assalamu alaikum.